guys, welcome back to Empower Central. Um, today we're going to be doing a walkthrough of the math section for practice test one of the SAT. I'm going to make multiple parts of this covering sections three and four, but for this video we'll cover the first 10 questions in section three. All right, let's get started. So we're going to be looking at question one. x minus one over three equals k, and k equals three. What is the value of x? So for this question we just have to substitute what k equals in uh, which is 3 and just substitute that in for k. So you rewrite your equation as x minus 1 over 3 equals 3 because you're substituting that in for k. Uh, multiply by 3 on both sides. x minus 1 equals 3 times 3 is 9. And then you get, you add 1 to both sides to uh, isolate the x and you get x equals 10, which would be d. Alright, next question. For i equals root negative 1, what is the sum of 7 plus 3i plus, in brackets, negative 8 plus 9i? Um, so the first thing I would suggest for this question is to remove the brackets for both of these. Well, for the first one, it's pretty easy. It just stays the same. It also stays the same for the second one because it's just a plus, so minus 8 plus 9i. All right, so here we can just simplify further, um, keep the numbers the same, so these two get paired up, and then the um, numbers with the i's, you um, clump them together as well. So you get negative 1 plus 12i, and that would be a. All right, let's move to question number three. On a Saturday afternoon, Armand sent M text messages each hour for five hours, and Tyrone sent P text messages each hour for four hours. Which of the following represents the total number of messages sent by Armand and Tyrone on Saturday afternoon? All right, so right here, we're looking for the total number of messages. So um, for Armand, it would be he sent M each hour for five hours. So his um, daily total would be 5M. Um, Tyrone sent P text messages each hour for four hours. So his would be 4P. And so to find the total number of messages that Armand and Tyrone, you just simply add these up. So it'd just be 5M plus 4P, which would be C. Let's go on to question four. Kathy is a repair technician for a phone company. Each week, she receives a batch of phones that need repairs. The number of phones that she has left to fix at the end of each day can be estimated with the equation P equals 108 minus 23D, where P is the number of phones left and D is the number of days she has uh, worked that week. What is the meaning of the value 108 in this equation? Alright, so this is pretty much just a conceptual understanding of what's going on in this equation. So this is a linear equation. This is your slope, which would be the number of phone sh um, fixes per day. And then 108 would be your starting number um, for that week. So it would be B. Kathy starts each week with 108 phones to fix. Question number five. Which of the following is equivalent to the expression above? Alright, so you have your expression above. And so for this one, you have to remove the brackets and distribute the negative to each of the following. So your first part stays the same, x squared y minus 3y squared plus 5xy squared uh, minus minus becomes a plus x squared y um, minus and a plus becomes a minus minus 3xy squared plus 3y squared because the negative and negative become a positive so you just simplify like terms here you have x squared y here and x squared y here so you have 2x squared y uh, you have a minus 3y here and a plus 3y squared here these simply just get cancelled out and then these are uh, like terms the 5xy squared and the negative 3xy squared you simply just subtract these two from each other because they're being subtracted and um, you get 2x squared y plus 2xy squared which would be letter C. Alright, next question. A pediatrician uses the model above h equals 3a plus 28.6 to estimate the height h of a boy in inches in terms of a boy's age a in years between the ages of 2 and 5. Based on the model what is the estimated increase in inches of a boy's height each year? All right, so simply for this question, it's just, it's asking you how, how much does his height increase, its estimated height increase per year? 
Um, so this is just asking you for the slope, right? Because it tells you um, the model above estimates the height of a boy in inches in per his age. So it's just you're taking the slope of the equation, which just be uh, the 3a. And so that'd just be uh, for 6, it'd just be a. All right, next one, question number seven. The formula above gives the monthly payment M needed to pay off a loan of P dollars at R percent annual interest over N months. Which of the following gives P in terms of M, R, and N? All right, so for this question, we're simply just isolating P and we just have to bring all these other elements to the other side. So we've, I, I would first isolate the denominator, just bring that to the other side. And then um, the top elements would just simply get divi uh, be divided. And so we're looking for an answer that has M and the denominator and the numerator while this moves to the bottom and gets divided. So scrolling to the answers, uh, B could be the only possible answer for this question because we have the elements of the numerator coming into the denominator. And then we also have uh, the denominator coming to the numerator multiplied by M. So B is the correct answer for number seven. All right, let's go on to the next page. Number eight, if A over B equals two, what is the value of four B over A? All right, so for this question, I would um, just rewrite this equation in terms of A or B. It doesn't matter which one you choose. So I'm gonna write it in terms of A, simply because I could just multiply by B by both sides and they'd cancel. So A equals two B. But then we can uh, substitute what A equals into the this um, expression. So just be four B over 2b and the b's cancel so 4 divided by 2 would be 2 giving you c for that answer all right so question number nine is a systems of equations 3x plus 4 equals negative 23 2y minus x equals negative 9 what is the solution x comma y to the systems of equations above um so first things first is that i'm just going to rewrite the second equation so that the x comes first so that it'd be easier for me to knock out um the variable of y so 3x plus 4y equals negative 23. And then negative x plus 2y equals negative 19. So I've simply just rearranged the second equation. And now to knock out the 4y, I'm going to multiply this whole thing by negative 2. So that I get 3x plus 4y equals negative 23. And then I'm also going to multiply by with a negative 2, so it just becomes 2x minus 4y, and then negative 2 times negative 19 is 38. So I get 5x equals 15. x equals to 3. Uh, so we know that x equals to 3. The only, the only answer with x equaling to 3 would be b, and uh, you wouldn't have to show any further steps for that question. All right, last question for this video. Um, g of x equals ax squared plus 24. For the function g defined above, a is a constant, and g of four equals eight. What is the value of g of negative four? <laughs> okay, so for this question, um, whenever they give you something like this, you just have to remember that it's technically a coordinate point, right? So whatever x value you input, this is the y value that is coming out. So this can technically be rewritten as 4, 8. And so we can just substitute that in to the original equation. 8 equals, this x equals to 4, so 4 squared would be 16a plus 24. Now you just simplify, my, uh, bring the 24 to the other side, and that becomes negative 16 equals 16a and that'll give you a equals negative one so now that you know what a equals you can bring it back into the original equation and now you can solve for what your uh, what the question is asking for which is g of negative four so g of negative four would just be um negative four squared times negative one plus 24. and so since this would just be 16 because anything in the square would just be positive 16 times negative 1, which would be negative 16, plus 24. Negative 16 plus 24 would be 8, positive 8, so that gives you A.